How did you get involved? And what was it about Sorcerers that appealed to you as a director? Got a call from James Seabright, who said, hello, um, we love you to look at this new musical. And I'd heard of Ben and Rich. So their work was known to me. I knew about Billy the Kid. I'd heard about the, um, that they were doing a piece at the Watermill, which was going to come after The Wicker Husband. And they had this great reputation. And I got sent this musical. And oh, no, I'm actually getting emotional talking about it now. I felt suddenly like the clouds started to lift. And I found it very, very moving. Like, first of all, uh, it's a story about dads and daughters. So that was something that I could really relate to. I'm very, very close to my dad. And I think a lot of people can relate to it. I love that it had this really strong, feisty female protagonist who was a little bit naughty and, and uh, was just desperate to sort of prove her worth. But it, it, it also had a, a strong environmental message that I was like okay I want to tell it I love telling stories that have something to say about the world you, you know that's what you hope but um I think the other thing to say about it was it's just so funny and it's got so much heart and the thing is is that Ben and Rich are this kind of incredible combination as a team because Rich, Richard is so dry and witty and funny and he can just craft a good joke. And that's what, as a director, you love seeing something that is beautifully structured, that has a wonderful punchline. The whole play is beautifully structured. And then you get to, you know, Ben's music and it's so so heartfelt and it's so emotional and it's lush and it's romantic and it sweeps you along so I sort of read this story I felt connected to it personally but also like emotionally it's it, it just spoke to me